Greetings, viewer or internet user. You're about to watch Tiny Plastic Men, Crisis on Infinite Octobers. I am October. So in this episode, there's more than one of me, perhaps even an infinite number. Phase one testing the new Gottfried Brothers microwave tag game. Addison? Ready, Crad? October? Affirmative. Commencing phase one. Ow! Oh! Ow! 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 Gotcha. Mmm, I'm dead. Huh. And deliciously buttery. Wow, the toy that makes you a snack. Mm. Mr. Gottfried's a genius. This one is bound to raise some safety concerns. Yeah, think? But nothing we can't get around with some lead-lined protective garments. Hmm, that would also stop Superman from seeing you naked. I think we have some left over from the Fukushima sushi playset. I'll be right back. You know, someone should tell Mr. Godfrey no once in a while. Not all of his ideas are good ideas. Yeah, he's no George Lucas. Hey, that was quick. Oh, hello, Crad. Hello, Addison. Hey. Hey, October, what's with the accent? I'm playing a fun, fun game. Uh, the rules are this. I shall ask you questions which may seem nonsensical to you. Okay. Who won the Second World War? Was John F. Kennedy assassinated in 1963? Who is the 44th President of the United States? And if it is Barack Obama, is he black or white? Uh, the Allies? Yes. Barack Obama, black. Good. I appear to be in the right place, then. October, what the fuck? My thanks, gentlemen. You have been most helpful. Huh. No luck, I'm afraid. Ah! Are you all right? Are you? Elaborate. October, you were just in here wearing different clothes, and then you asked us a bunch of weird questions like, who won World War II? How is anyone supposed to know that? I see. And then you just left. Plus, I think you were Irish or something. Are you high? Because that is a clear violation of Sharesies. No, no, I I'm fine. You know me, always engaging in workplace pranks and whimsical jakes. Okay. One more thing. Which way did I go? That, that way. way. Thank you. Huh. Long lost twin? We did that. Yeah, we did do that. I know you're here. Might as well show yourself. Indeed. I have no interest in hiding. I won't go down without a fight. This is not what you think it is, my friend. There can be only one. Would that that were true. I have come for your assistance. With what, exactly? With the small matter of saving your life, your planet, and quite literally everything that exists anywhere ever. Oh. Okay, then. It's a nice vest. Oh, this? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. again for seeing reason. I must stress the gravity of the situation we find ourselves in. So you've said. And I'm afraid you shoulder much of the blame. The space-time continuum has grown dangerously weak due to your meddling with the time stream. I had to leave my original timeline. My world was dying. No one blames you for escaping a certain death, but once here, you couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? I'm just you. had good reasons. Not good enough. For whenever you travel in time and space, you create divergent versions of yourself. And each of those divergent versions goes on to create more divergent versions. Then Wanda was... me? From an alternate universe, yes, I'm afraid so. To be perfectly honest, I'm still not sure if that relationship counts as incest or masturbation. This is a lot to take in. Imagine how Wanda felt. Inappropriate. It gets worse. The space-time continuum has become brittle. The fabric of reality around the Gottfried Brothers toys of this dimension has grown perilously weak. How weak? Like a ten-year-old boy with polio. That's weak. By something as simple as a localized, focused, and repeated pulse of radiation would be enough to rip reality asunder. Uh-oh. What? I just built a device for Mr. Gottfried with pretty much those exact specifications. They're testing it today. For God's sakes, man! Stop that test! Or you may well have doomed the multiverse! Well, 
this looks very promising. Well done, gentlemen. Thanks. Should be ready for a full demonstration this afternoon. Yes, quite good. But is it good enough? Why not? It could be better. Bigger. Bigger? <laughs> I mean, this is basically a gun that shoots radiation. Any tumors to report, Addison? Nope, but my balls are tingling. See, it's fine. But his balls. No buts. I want those radiation pulses localized, focused, and repeated. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dingly. <laughs> How many times have you asked an absent and uncaring god this question? With so many kids to entertain and feed, why can't there be a toy that does both? Well, now there is. With Gottfried Brothers Microwave Tag. Stupid non-microwave toy guns rely on imagination. Imagination? What's that? Microwave Tag gives you proof you've been hit by cooking the unpopped popcorn we've stored near your heart and lungs. Ow! Ow! Now, to feast on my kill. It's like hunting for popcorn. That's great, but I still have to cook dinner. That's the best part. Microwave tag guns can be used to cook or reheat meals. My baby is wet from swimming. I'll go dry him with my microwave gun. No, don't do that. Microwave tag. It's for fun and maybe cooking, but not for drying babies. Don't be an idiot and ruin this toy by cooking your baby. That's what happened to lawn darts. Where's lawn darts? I miss lawn darts. October, what's going on? I have to return something to you, Crad. My vaporizer? Your memory. I remember. I remember everything. You're a time traveler from the year 13 million. Or so. But how's that possible? I remember growing up with you and Addison. Not the first time you've asked me that. It's simple. You did grow up with an October, just not me. What? I'm from an alternate universe. What, what? There was already an October here when I arrived. I had to remove him to make room for me. That's a euphemism. You euphemized him. No. You killed my friend. Well, not precise. Get away from it. <laughs> that did not go well. I'm really not supposed to be doing stuff like this, but I had to make you understand. I did not kill your childhood friend. <gasps> the October I shot wasn't this dimension's original either. He <clears throat> was one of the more evil Octobers, bent on destroying you all. <gasps> the October you knew as a child was long dead before I ever entered the picture. I am so utterly confused. This must be what Addison feels like all the time. You talking to me? You must be talking to me, because there's no one else here. Unless I'm talking to myself. What's happening, Robert DeZero? Hey, Jesse. You excited for microwave tag? Yeah, for sheesties. You probably know Alexander wants this to be big. Yeah, but safe. Fuck safe. Fuck safe? Fuck it. Fuck it? Yeah, fuck it in the face. Fuck safe in the face? Yeah, safe is for silver medalists, bro dangle. We're going gold. OK. <laughs> Uh, what's that? I took a look at October's notes and fiddled around a little bit with the old microwave gun prototype. Figured out how to disengage those pussy safeties. Out of this auxiliary power source. NBD. Oh, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe we should talk to Crad or October before we start, you know. Hey! Executive decision safe, Tart. It's already done. Get on there, girl. Now, let's kick this. To 11. Okay. Cool. 